special guest for you today, a real special guest for you, Marvin Priest. How you doing, brother? Yes, What's been bro. happening, man? <laughs> Chilling, bro. How's your day been? <laughs> good, bro. Always good. Can't That's complain. what's up. You know That's what's what up, man. Yeah. So um, there's a few questions I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. You know, tell us a little about the music you make. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. why I like to start off with pretty much knowing um, what type of genre of music you make. Yeah. You know, and... Um, a little bit about the create the creating part of of your music. Yes, of course. Um, well, I make a, a, all different types of music. I don't label myself to one, um, but my the mu music of choice is um, like reggae music. You know, um, a bit of reggae with a fusion of pop in there, <clears throat> and a little bit of R and B. You know what I mean? Um, I came up through reggae, yeah. so um, that's my genre of choice. But obviously, because I, I do all different types of music, yeah. I've had success with pop and other genres as well. So, no doubt. I, I'm, you know, I, I call myself an artist, so I can paint my music on any type of picture, you know what I mean? I yeah. hear that, I hear um, that. And with the process, I mean, um, the process is really about me getting the rhythm, getting the music, the instrumental, feeling what it, the music's saying to me. Is it feeling like, um, you know, like it could be a girl song or, or it could be a song about the street. So it yeah. just depends on what type of rhythm I get and what type of vibe I get from the song, you know? That's what's up, man. Yeah, That's what's yeah, up. yeah, yeah. And, well, um, what, what type of effect do you want on, on, on your fans when they're listening to your music? In all honesty, I want them to be, to feel to feel good. If you notice a lot of my music, I like a lot of up-tempo music because I like the people to dance and to feel good and to enjoy themselves. Um, but also I'd like to, them to listen to the message because sometimes there's a message in there, you know, about, you know, staying positive or if you're in a relationship, how to deal with a relationship. If you've got a girlfriend, you might be chasing her. Be like, no oh, doubt, like, no doubt. You know what I'm up. saying? So it, it just depends on what, um, on what the vibe is of the song. That's, that's what it depends on. Yeah, bro. And um, as far as with your fans, how you are... Uh... As far as engaging with your fans, mm -hmm. um, if you met your fans, you know, or while online, how do you get about that? Um, well, I'm not the greatest, I would say, online, but when yeah. I am on there, I, I engage with everybody, man. I try to talk to everyone. I try to message back as much I, as possible, um, which is not easy sometimes. You know, you might put a picture up and there might be 50 people that have commented and yeah. you're like, oh, ah, yeah. I can't chase everybody. So it's like, you know, but I try my best to engage with them. Online is very important. I've, I've learned that. Even though, you know, I came from a, a, a time where we actually sold records like physically and manually. Um, so it's, it's a bit new to me. Not new, but it is new-ish with the online stuff. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing well with it. I'm, That's I'm, what's I'm up, man. Yeah. And um, who are some of the, the musicians that you have admired coming up, uh, whether in the, independent or mm -hmm. um, in the major league? Who, who, who really gets um, you? Well, for me... Obviously, I've had my dad as an inspiration, which is I was lucky enough to have him. Um, so I always, you know, he's one of my favorite artists. Um, oh, who, who, who's your dad? Uh, my dad is Maxi Priest. Oh, that's yeah. what's up, man. <laughs> yeah. my man. Yes, Maxi sir. Priest, yeah. Sir. So, um, you know, and he's done well in in the reggae industry and the pop industry as well, which is why um, I've always looked up to him. Um, you know, I've always been a big fan of of other other big acts like Michael Jackson. I've been a big oh, fan yeah. of Michael Jackson. And again, there's reggae acts like um, Dennis Brown, Bob nice. Marley, um, Beres Hammond, um, oh, you yeah. know. So I've got a, a, a broad, <laughs> you know, because I also yeah. listen to rap. So I listen to Jay-Z. I like Kanye West. I like what Drake's doing. So, you know, I listen to a, a broad spectrum of music, bro. All right. You got your own band, you all doing some stuff. How did that come about? Mm. You know, how long you all been together now? Yeah, um, well, so um, when I came to Melbourne, I, I, I came to Melbourne in 2015. Okay. Um, I, I was in Sydney before that. I was doing some music in Sydney. Um, 
you know, because I had a record deal in Sydney. That's how I first came to oh, Australia. Wow. wow. Yeah. So, so... <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So I first came to Australia like 2011, um, put out some pop music because I got a record deal here. And then I moved to Melbourne in 2015. And that's when I joined up with my band. Um, I met some guys, um, big up Ricky, big up um, the rest of the band, um, Brett, Jason, Dufty, Jawais, um, Frankie, um, big them up. Um, but yeah, I met them in Melbourne, just going around, just around the scene, the music scene, meeting different people. I was like, you know, I want to create my own band because I never had my own band. I always worked with all different musicians. Yeah. So I came, I met these guys and... That we all vibed, we all like reggae music. That was the main thing that we all had. So some of yeah. them from New Zealand, some of them are from Melbourne. We joined up, listened to some music, what we all liked. And then we just started playing. Um, from This is 2015 we met up. We started actually playing in 2018. Because before it was just being yeah. friends and talking, you know, talking. But 2018 we started actually playing together. And, and it's Crown Heights. So check them out. They've got a few, we've got a few songs out already on Spotify. Um, and we've got an album coming out um, with VPAL Records in uh, America, New York. Oh, wow. um, Link from Jamaica as well. So we're distributing through them. Um, wow. We've just shot some new videos. Um, we're really excited. The album should be coming out this summer. Um, two, two videos are shot already, two singles. And yeah, we're... Have you, have you all got a date for the album? And it's about no, we, we haven't got an exact date yet. Yeah. Um, but we are preparing for maybe December, maybe for Jamaica Festival, because we're playing Jamaica Festival here. Wow. So maybe we might drop around that time. Um, we, as I said, we've shot the videos. We're just trying to get the artwork, um, the photos together, and just trying to make so that when we're doing the promo, we're prepared, you know? So we're just I starting hear that. now. I yeah. hear that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, I saw you at the last Jamaican festival. That was that was banging, man. That's right. Respect, you tore it up. Right. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean? Now, um, with your with your songwriting, mm -hmm. you know the, the process of, of of your songwriting. Mm -hmm. What are you trying to get, or what are you trying to give the fans? With music, you want to make the person that's listening be able to close their eyes and be in your world. That's what the trick is. So with me, um, you know, I've been writing for years. I have done. I got a publishing deal with Universal. Um, I still have it to this day. So I've written for a few acts as well. You know, I've done writing for bands like UB40, House of Sham, uh, my dad. I've, I've written for a few people, you know. Because so, you, you were traveling, I think, back before you came out here. Yeah. You were doing a lot of stuff worldwide with your dad. Yeah, that's right. I was, I traveled everywhere, all over the world. But again, it's like I was doing a lot of work for my dad, a lot, and that's a lot of live performing. So it's a lot of singing, running up and down stage. I've seen some videos yeah, in the past bro. in New York and everything. Yes, bro. All and I've done that for years. But as I said, when 2011 came and I got a record deal, it's now now I have to learn about myself because before I was I was more just performing and not really getting my craft together. You know what I mean? I so once you get your own situation, you kind of have to. As much as I love my dad and I still love touring with him, I had to go and you know get my own stuff together as well. You know, so. But again, back to um, the writing process, it's, again, just making the people be able to close their eyes and be in that world that I am at that time. Do you get what I mean? So if I'm in the club, you need to be able to close your eyes. Oh, we're in a club right now. If I'm emotionally sad, no, nah, right now I'm feeling sad and this, this song is making me feel that emotion. So that's, yeah, yeah. that's what it's about. Yeah. That's what's up, man. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's... that's, that's... So big things about to happen for you. You oh, know, this album yes. about to drop is going to be a lot of fun, man. Mm, but yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, we've been preparing for this album for maybe, this is from last year. Um, we started first with the, when the pandemic started because all of the shows slowed down so and we couldn't link up. So we was like trying to write through Zoom, like online and just trying to get yeah. songs together. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Then we got to shoot one video and then it was like, all right, we had to wait for the time. And then we just shot another video again the other day. So it's just a process, but again, um, it, patience. We don't mind patience because if you're patient, then you can put out the best project. I hear that. You know what I mean? I, I caught a video of yours. Um, I think you um did that video down at um the Redwoods, right? Mm hmm Okay. Um. Oh, in the in the forest. Yeah. Oh, sick. Man. Crazy. Amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what I mean? That that, that was crazy. Thank yo. you, bro. One, one of my favorite songs. Oh, thank you. What's so what's so crazy about that song and that even that video as well is that um, I we shot that video like at 
double speed just so that I could, we could get the effect of, because if you watch the video, it moves like we're in slow motion, but really it's because I shot it really fast. Like I was singing really fast. And then he slowed it down. So that's how it looks like. It gets that oh, effect. Yeah, yeah that's, bro. That was, that was, that crazy. Was, that was crazy. Respect, man. That's I really love that song, man. Yeah, yeah me man. too, man. Yeah. It makes two of us. Yeah, like, <laughs> <Yeah. real. laughs> Is there a favorite uh, song you like to perform? Um, Yeah, I'm going to say... Oh, and, wow. and, and favorite venue that you have out here in Australia. Wow, 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 wow. That's, a, that's crazy. All right. Right. <laughs> favorite song I like to perform would be a song called Slow Down. Um, it's a song um, that I originally released with UB40 wow. on their album 24-7. This was probably 2010, maybe, um, on one of my first tours. I got to tour with them first, and I think that'll be my favourite song. It's called Slow Down. We remixed it with my band Crown Heights as well. Video out. It's out on Spotify. Go and check it out. Um, yeah, that, that'll probably be my favourite to perform. Pa favourite venue. Ah. In, in Melbourne or in Australia? Uh, okay, in well, uh, yeah, because I've performed in all over, man. I, I've, um, I would say maybe the Maya Bowl um, in Melbourne. Yeah, I've performed there. I thought that's a great venue. We've... I've, I've played there a few times, packed it out. Um, yeah, I would say, I would say my ball. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this coffee out here is smelling real good right now, man. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting a little glass of this coffee. Yeah, that's you know what's what I mean? up. <laughs> it's smelling so damn good right now. This is how it all began. First, it started off as spring. Yeah. We got a little serious, and I'm still here by your side, girl. I care. I care. I got to let you know I'll be there when you need someone to hold yeah. Now I nah, remember man. when you told me that you would never leave me, baby. Alright, don't worry, don't worry about I don't need people. I'm feeling kind of lonely. Is you gone away from me? No, thank you. Slow you. down, yeah, little girl, slow down. Yeah, yeah, this coffee tastes real good, man. Yes, sir. For real. Cheers. Yeah, top to the coffee. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, so um, I had a couple more other questions uh, mm -hmm. I, I'd love to ask you. You know, um, what's the, give us one thing you dislike about the music industry in Australia. Hmm. Um, what do I dislike? There's not many things that I dislike. I guess what I would love is if they would um, give, um, you know, like ARIA awards for reggae music, you know, yeah. if they had a category for reggae. I know Melbourne Victoria have just start, started doing um, a category for the reggae awards, but if the bigger, you know, the APRA awards, the ARIAs, if some of these big, um, you know, companies and award shows in Australia, if they could recognise the reggae music a bit more, that would be, uh, you know, something that I would really appreciate. If some of these major labels would look more into Stop some it. of the reggae side or even more so the urban side because the radio is still such a big thing in australia yeah. it would be good if we could push those genres as well and not just just them alone but make sure that they're in the mix with everything else that would be something that i would love to happen but as an industry as a whole um i respect the music industry here i just would wish that we could have some a few changes like that. You like that, yeah, because yeah, uh, a, a lot more has to be um, funded towards um, independent music out here. That's right, exactly. You know I mean? So Australia can catch up with the rest of um, the world. That's right. No, I completely I'll agree. Because um, you know I mean? even with us, uh, we found our distribute in, in America. It would be great if we could actually have a uh, a major company here in you know in Australia that would push some of these yeah. urban local independent acts that would be amazing 100 mm. percent. and um what are some of the things you do like about the music industry out here in australia um again there, there is a few things that i do like i like the fact that um you know especially here in melbourne there's a lot of local bands that are amazing the live acts here are crazy like not to say that anywhere else in the world they're not amazing but melbourne especially i found a lot of musicians that could play live like you know, not the not studio producers banging beats on the MPC or yeah, just yeah. you know, I'm talking about some people that can play some keys, play some drums, play some bass, play some play the instruments, and we can all come together and create something together. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So I, I found uh, amazing talent like that in Australia. So no doubt, I, you know, that's big what's up, man. Yeah, 
Yeah, it has. A, it's got a, a major big community out here with live bands. That's right. You know what I mean, hundred percent. That's right. Now with 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 the youth of today, you know, mm -hmm. you got a lot a lot of the young kids out here. You know, they ain't got a lot to do. You know, so they they, they be just um, doing nothing with themselves. And, mm -hmm. and the kids that are coming up in the music industry, what advice can you give the young talent coming up? Um, my advice is and to keep them motivated as well. Yeah, well, my my first bit of advice is to stay true to themselves. Don't follow anybody else. Don't obviously you have your inspirations and you have people that you admire and you could take bits of them, but stay true to your heart. Stay true to what you feel is gonna be good for you, not necessarily what someone else is going to tell you could be good for you. Yep. Stick to what you feel is good. That would be my um first bit of advice. Um the second bit of advice is to um don't feel deflated if it doesn't happen for you immediately. Because the 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 best things, the best lessons that I've learned in life are through things that haven't gone my way or mistakes that I've made. I've, it's happened, I've stumbled over them, but I've never just let them bring me down. I use them as lessons, right, okay, well, next time when I go this way, I'm not gonna do it like that. So don't ever, the, the advice I give to kids is you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna mess up. You're, yep. gonna, you're not gonna lose sometimes. You're gonna feel like, oh, it's the end of the world, but it's not. Yep. Use that as a, a, a stepping stone to step to the next stage and to keep continue going. That's that's what my advice would be to the children. Don't again. You're not. You're gonna find losses. It happens. You're gonna yes. take an L now and again. 100%. But don't make it get you down and think, oh, I've got to give up. No, take it. Get yourself up and keep going. That's my advice. Yeah, yeah. True that. Mm. True that. You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times, you know, with, with with the youth coming up nowadays, they they are quick to sort of you know give something a try mm -hmm. and then you know it don't work out and sort of leave it. But as I always tell a lot of the youth, you know, even even my sons, mm -hmm. you know, the best artists that's come out, you know, sometimes it's taking them more than 15, 20 years oh, of grinding percent before they can make it. Oh, 100 percent. Even for me, even before I got my first record deal, I was making music for like seven years before I even got a deal. So it's yeah. like a lot of times i would be going to studios, pay out yeah. my own money. I'm going to every studio. I'm recording here, recording here. I'm doing this. A lot of people don't have the motivation to do that, but you have to be motivated if that's really yeah, where that's you right. want to get to. No one's not going to give it to you. Yeah. You actually have to go and put the work in. You got to love go it. And make it happen. Out here in Australia, you know, give us a couple of names of some ind independent artists that you like and you listen to. Mm. Oh, wow. Independent artists. I can only really... Or even give it a shout out no, just to some yeah, of the other artists. I can, give, I can give some of my, my shout outs to the guys that I've I've worked with myself. You know, like um, Slicker One, independent artist um, in the African community, a great artist. Big him up. I've had done songs with him as well. Um, we got another reggae act called um, Jatang, an independent coming up wow. as well. I've performed with him. He's got some good videos and good music coming out as well. Obviously, I big up um, Crown Heights, my own band. Um, there's Russ Jano, there's, um, I, obviously I'm just bigging up the, the, the Melbourne acts. Obviously yeah. there is a lot of other acts that I've worked with, like in the majors already. Like I've worked with uh, Delta Goodrum. Wow. I've worked with Brian McFadden. Um, you know, I've worked with um, Keenan, uh, Ronan Keaton. I've, I've worked with producers like DNA. Um, I've worked. I've worked with a lot of people, but as I just said, I'm trying to big up the independent, the independent acts. You know what I mean? Um, uh, who else? Oh, wow. <laughs> Fracture. Big up my guy. Fracture. Big up Scotty. Scotty Hines. And these are like. Um, He's good. Yeah. These are like. He's Graham, an MC. Drill, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's not even reggae. But I big up. Again, independent acts, and wow. they're my guys. You know what yeah, I mean? So yeah. I big them up all the time. You yeah, know what I mean? He's, 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 yeah, he's on yeah. fire. Yeah. So all, so all of those guys, man. Again, sorry if I've missed some, but there's so yeah. many more to mention. But they're just off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, and how about um, you know, some of the places that that, that you travel to doing um performances, mm -hmm. um, international mm -hmm. or out here? Where are some of the places that you that you've been out? Oh to? wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Again, because I've had the pleasure of working with my dad, I've got to, you know, travel. As again, my, my first tour was with UB40, which was all over America. So I've done, I've done everywhere in America, man. Um, I've traveled the whole country, New York, BB Kings, all of those places, um, LA, um, San Francisco, Las Vegas. I've done Hard Rock Cafe with them. Um, how, so how old were you when, when you did, did, did that, that first... Um with, 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 with um, UB40. I would be 20, 
three. That's amazing, man. Twenty what yeah, twenty three, something like that. Yeah, I was again. I'm being blessed. Years old. All that's I can find myself is I've been blessed because blessed. I, was, I got the opportunity to even go on tour without having put out no music. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Just off of the strength of nah, he, I've seen him do his thing. He can go like let's yeah. go. Like do you get what I mean? So yeah, I've toured everywhere, man. We done. I've done Europe tours with them, and obviously being from London, so we done all in London, Germany, um, Holland. Uh, all over Europe, Spain, and obviously we've come over this side as well. So we've done all of Australia, Perth, Brisbane, Adelaide. Um, we've done New Zealand. Like again, I, I'm more like to say where I haven't been. Like you know, I haven't yeah. been to. I haven't been to India. I haven't been to Russia. Um, I've been to Brazil. Been all over the Caribbean. Uh, you know, I've been to Africa, Zimbabwe, South Africa. Um, Damn, yeah. So it's only a few. More, there's only a few more places left, bro. You haven't you know been to Asia just yet. Um, where, where where would you classify? Where in Asia, like Japan, J Japan, yeah, Thailand. Been to Japan, been to Japan, been to Japan um, Cambodia, been to Bali. Philippines. No, I haven't been to a lot of those islands. Okay, though. I've only been to a few. I, I I actually can't wait to actually get out there, man. Yes. That's a plan. Like I've been, as I said, when I went to Bali, I couldn't believe how much live shows. There yeah, was man. to even play in Bali. There were so many oh, live no. acts, bro. I was just like, wow. So hopefully I'll get to some of these places. Yeah. Yeah. And, and on a positive vibe, mm -hmm. um, what, what can we tell the people that we, we li that's listening and watching us? Mm -hmm. You know, some good good vibes out for them. Some good um, feel goods. What, what can you give the people? Um, again, stay motivated. Stay, stay positive. Because obviously there's a lot going on with the pandemic stuff. And, you know, people are getting sick. Monkeypox, monkey virus, this, 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 and this. I always say, stay positive. Always look, have a goal. Remain with your family and your friends, your real low family and friends. Always keep an eye out for them and look out for anyone that might be not as strong as you and, you know, might need some help. You, and they might not tell you. So it's always good to look out for no everyone. Um, and again, I just remain positive. Stay on the right path. You know what's right. You know what's wrong. And remain focused. That's the best advice I can give. Have you done any music with your dad? Mm hmm Yes. You know, and um, where can we find the music? Yep. And have you released yeah, any um, music with your dad? Yeah. Uh, well, again, because I, I learned a lot from him. My writing started with him. So I used to write songs to try to give it to him. Like, you yeah. know, oh, yeah, how's that's this? Up. How's this? He's like, ah, oh, no, you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but um, I did get, uh, this would have been my, the first song we'd done with him that he actually put out. He put out on one of his albums with um, Virgin Records in UK. Um, it was a song called Full 100. Um, give you the full 100. That's out now. You can get it on Spotify. That was released by, um, uh, yeah, was it Virgin? Yeah, Virgin Records. I'm pretty sure it was Virgin Records. And um, when they was uh, around, that was my first one with him. And then um, kept writing. We'd done some albums and stuff. That never got full release, but when I did get my record deal, yeah. me and him done another song um, oh, wow. called uh, Work It. That's out now. It's a really good song. That's nice. on Spotify. Go and look it up. Um, we performed that song <clears throat> together to this day. Like if, if it, wherever we wherever we are together, yeah, that's a song we rock out because it's like me and him going backwards and forwards. Work it. Yeah, yeah. I, I could work it. I, I I wrote that song um, with some guys in Sydney called DNA. Okay. We wrote that song together and then I called him up. I was like, yo, I, now I've got I've got one for you, you know? Yep, yep. And he's like, all right, let me hear that. Yeah, let's go, you know? So yep. well, as we were mm. talking before, you said um, you came out here mm -hmm. with a record deal. Mm -hmm. You know, was the intention to live out here or was it just let me go out there, you know, push a couple albums and come back out to the UK? Yeah, well, that was the, the plan was, um, you know, like, um, I came I came here. I came out to do some shows. Yep. That was what it was. I came first with my dad, rocked with him, and then I went back. I was living in New York at the time. Yep. So I moved back, went back to New York. I'm chilling, chilling. And then I get a call up. We've got some gigs for you in Australia. I'm like, what? No way. So I come. I'm in Sydney. Yep. So I come back. I do some gigs. I was here for maybe six weeks. Um, <clears throat> and then I got a call from a, a friend of mine that said, oh, you know, so someone might be interested in you getting a, a deal. So... Yep. They took me down to Universal and I got a deal with Universal. This is all in the space of like three. This is in the three months, in my three months. I'm only, you know, you're here, meant to be here for three months. So I come, we speak, uh, they offer me a deal. So I go back to New York yeah. and they start going through the 
the deal process, you know, and then I get a work visa yeah. and then I get to come back. So I'm back in Australia, living in Sydney, doing my stuff, going back and forwards between New York. But because I'm doing so much work here, we're getting like literally platinum record with Own This Club. I'm like, <laughs> where am I going? <laughs> Do you I mean, get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah exactly. I've, got a, I've got my first record deal. The first song I put out goes yes. three times platinum. Yeah. So it's like, okay, Australia is actually digging That was like me. a dance record, right? Yeah, it's a dance record. I remember like seeing that. That was record. hot. Yeah. That was fire. Man, as I said, I, got, I come and that happens for me. I'm like, so I, again, I, I go back to New York, yeah. actually. And then the song starts to be, it's all over the radio. Everyone's calling me from Australia. Yo, bro, the song's flying. It's crazy, Damn. mate. So then I, I've had to come back. So I yep. come back, yep. um, you know, and then we just start the process of releasing more music. So yep. I get to release some more singles. We get some golds, gold records. We go to New Zealand, same vibe. I get some gold, platinum records Damn. there. Do you get what I mean? So it's like... All this all time. happening at one time, yeah, all the like big all stuff. This. Every time I'm going back to New York, yeah. I have to come back. Yeah. So in the end, I ended up staying. I'm in Sydney. Stay out here, yeah. Do you get what I mean? And then um, I met friends, girlfriends, yep. all types of stuff. So I've, I've, I've practically been living here since. <laughs> I only go... So from 2015... Been here. Um, I've obviously, been, I've been home to visit as a yeah, my family. Back and forth, but, yeah. but I've actually been living here. I'm now. I've got citizenship and all yeah. types of stuff. You know what I mean? So and that's yeah. it. You buy <laughs> down under now. Well, I, I'm a dual citizen, so I've still got my English passport. Still yeah. got my, and now I've got Australian one too. So Mr. International. Yeah, bro. That's what's up. <laughs> you know. Um. Last but not least, man. Um. Where can the viewers find you? You know, what platforms can they find you on? Um, let, let, let them know where, where they can find you. Um, so. I, obviously, I have a, a Facebook account. I have Instagram. I have all the Twitters. I have everything. But I'm mostly on Facebook, which is really weird. So yeah. my Facebook page, uh, Marvin Priest, I normally, that's where I respond to messages okay. on there. I'm, okay. I'm mostly on their inbox on there. Um, if you want immediate response, that's where you'd, you'd find me. But they will find you on Instagram. Oh, I'm, I'm on Instagram. Marvin but, Yeah, but a lot of people, as I said to you before, I might go and put a picture up. 50 people might write something. Or I might have 50 messages in my inbox. I'm like, I can't answer all of them. So I yeah. kind of just go to Facebook, where I've only... It isn't so much, and I could just talk back to yeah, you know, my fans on there. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So, yes, you know, bro. we're going to be looking out for this album. It's going to be yes, hot. Yes, make sure... And uh, as I said before, check out the songs that are out already. Go on yep. Marvin Priest Spotify. Um, go on uh, Crown Heights Spotify. Go and check all that stuff out. And on YouTube as well. Just go and check that out. Yeah, no doubt. You know, and anybody want to get in touch with um with Marvin Priest, just hit him up. As he said, you know, mm -hmm. Facebook, you can always catch him. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram, mm -hmm. you can catch me, but you might not hear nothing. Mm -hmm. So take the chance for Facebook. Facebook for that's real. right. You know what I mean? I'm excited about this album that's going to be coming out this year sometime. Mm -hmm. We don't have the dates, but it's going to be Somewhere. fire. Yeah, I've heard a lot of the brothers' music lit straight up fire. You know what I mean? Whatever he puts out. So it's going to be ex exciting, you know, to, to get a chance to hear this new album coming out. Mm -hmm. You know, something fresh, new coming out of Australia. And, you know, the man does everything from, from hip-hop um, to reggae. You know what I mean? A little bit of dance hall, mm -hmm. a little bit of, you know, um, dance music. Everything, mm -hmm. you know. Thank you, brother man, yeah, for having this conversation, ways. man. I appreciate you, <laughs> man. Bro, for real, bro. man. For real, for real. <laughs> and we'll definitely see Marvin again, and um, real soon, yes, sir. Peace, peace. I'll be there when you need someone to hold. Yeah. Now I remember when you told me yeah, that you would never leave me, baby. Oh. But now I'm feeling kind of lonely because you're gone away from me.